Hey everybody, how's it going? It is Axel Graven. I'm back with more reactions with an X. Super happy to get back into the second episode of Sabaku Ibisco, which I think it means rust, mushroom, some scavenger, man eater. Oh, it's man eater, uh, Bisco or something like that, or rust eater Bisco. That's it, some shit. But it looked pretty interesting last week. It had a pretty fun first episode with interesting art, and it just looked pretty well to put together. I got uh, suggestions for it on a couple of different spots and from a couple people, but nothing like crazy, so it wasn't overhyped at all, I, and I didn't really know anything about it going in. They were just like, this looks really good, and it's brand new, and it's from a light novel, so we figured we'd give it a shot. Last episode, I really enjoyed Dr. Panda, I think it was, and his, and his whole setup. I think his, I don't, I don't know, I guess I shouldn't gender assume. But we didn't get too much on who seems to be the main protagonist, the uh, Bisco, the man, the mushroom keeper. And it looks like this episode is going to be more of that. Obviously, we got a little bit of mushroom explosions in the last one and some giant animals, which seems to be a big thing here. Obviously, also the like the rusting. There's so much to talk about and this world's already got its like own little foothold of what's happened without having to do too much like leg work on pushing it. And I really like that. Worlds that feel individual and recognizable are great and are just a little unique in one way or another. And this one's really about the rust and the mushrooms, which I feel is pretty unique. You know what I mean? Also, it gives me rust vibes for like the um, society base where it's like this violent build your own shack kind of, you know, winner take all. It's just very interesting stuff. With that said, if you enjoyed watching with us last time or enjoy watching this, remember to support the original creator because without them we wouldn't have it. And if you like watching us, I'll tell you how to support us at the end of the video because, you know, how would you know if you enjoyed the video until you watch it? So, thank you so much and I hope you enjoy watching with us. A sutra. It's been a while. Okay. No one would, no priest would turn down a request. Uh oh. He, I thought that he just got past last time. He gave the signal. Uh oh. Oh. Barely dodged. And it knocked that. Wow. It, I like how they skipped the whole of it slipping off. Whoa. That line on his nose there was really noticeable. Who are you calling a man eater? Uh oh. That arrow just went in, and yep, it's gonna go huge. Oh, and they're getting big. Damn! But you just were. He's like, uh, he's like, I threatened three people, and they all recommended you. You're a great doctor. I love that. I don't like that nose angle, though. And I'm sorry, but you're dead. <laughs> Salmon Rasha Escargot? <laughs> Masked creeps. <laughs> oh, they are the watch. They just blasted at him. <laughs> to be fair. Oh, no. <laughs> Mushroom terrorism. Oh, they, they work for the, the corrupt governor. Oh, they're gonna f the clinic. They did not give two shits. Guess Panda's not that valuable. To be fair, that guy is dangerous. He's blowing up all kinds of, and that causes severe structural damage. That costs money. They really did. Well, a little bit. <laughs> I guess not. <laughs> oh, and then he got hit by a bomb. No, something else happened. The hippos. Oh no, they have hippos that have guns on them. This this show is so ridiculous. It's great. No, not the hippo. Actually, hippos are kind of monstrous. But you know what? I they they're so adorable until they kill you. Not the hippos. He really is heartless to the hippos, at least. How many do they have? Conk. King Trumpets, which are a kind of a uh, mushroom, right? Aren't they? Oh my god, there goes the hospital. Boom, boom! So they'll think he's over there. Immy. Is that their name? Or something else? Nice, good art there. Oh, he actually... 
He can actually pick up. Oh, damn, he's strong as shit. It threw him like nothing. And there goes the big mushroom sprout that's gonna send him away. Goodbye. Holy shit, it's big. King's trumpet. Oh, that me the theater is not tracked, right? Wow, alright, so he's a sci-fi buff. And he blew up the... <laughs> he blew up the fucking movie theater. Oh, hey, look at the little tattoo on his eye. Those look cool. I'm just like, I can't figure out, like, the pull for this. Where are we going? Oh, interesting. Town of Friendship. Interesting art style, once again, for the backgrounds there. It's kind of like more painting. He's an angry guy, that's for sure. Such a kind child into a mad fighter. All dried up. Okay, so Octaga was the crab's name. <laughs> Look at this foam. The crab's kind of 3D, isn't he? Oh, is this where the plane shows up? Yep. Missile. Damn! That's good reaction, eyes, and... Honestly. Interesting music, too. What I think about this is a little different. What the f*** is up at the front of the plane? Snails. Oh god, of course it spits out the... So how does he take it down then? He says it doesn't work. Wait, what? Oh, he got hit by something local? Or is there another enemy? I'm very confused what happened to him there with the little underground thing. Oh, and that's how she gets the old guy. Oh, that's how she gets the old guy. Jesus! He should have just done that from the... St oh, God. It's actually a bean. And it got mushroomed. Which is funny, because it looked like it went all the way through like a fucking laser. You know? Okay, so this is his connection. I like it because they are putting a good amount of push into it to give us that connection between these guys to make this guy's death more heavy, right? The old person. Okay. Oh, hey, he's awake! And then he goes back, he back to sleep, yeah! Uh-oh. Which is also a distraction. <laughs> he's not bad. He's actually... I like it. They're doing impressively intelligent decisions. I mean, there's obviously some ridiculousness, but we're... I mean, you saw that arrow go through. There, It's not like there was an explanation. He said, that motherfucker is crazy. Look at their face. Innocent. Oh. The fuck about this tip of my sword. Let's just run it on the ground. I always love that that trope. Wait, did the bike have rust on it? Or is it just the art style? Blocked. Uh-oh, doesn't matter. But. 
Uh oh. Yeah, I thought so. She's a little more badass than the rest of his opponents. And she's an enclosed fighter, which is not great. Oh, through the sword. Dang, son. That's uh that's pretty impressive. Also, shouldn't that one sprout into a mushroom? That it damn that passed so fast. There's no way that was the whole episode. Bro, no. Alright, that's how you know it was good because I was like so engrossed I didn't even notice how fast that episode ended. But it did, guys, and it was a really good episode, but I gotta say, uh, I still I wonder where this is going for the push on the direction of the plot, right? Like, so far we we obviously know the plot revolves around these two and somehow the governor sorry. And the corruption in the city and the watch, right? Because those are the main forces and entities that we've been brought to know and are getting familiarized with. But I just wonder where we're pushing towards it, right? Sometimes I think about that in shows like this where, for instance, obviously he's trying to save the old man. And that's the, I don't know if that's going to be the whole story because I think there's like five planned episodes. I don't know how many episodes are planned, but there weren't all that many from what I understood so far because it is light novel. So they got to you know, go and wait, do the night light novel stuff. Same way you gotta wait for the manga to be published for like stuff like One Piece. But it looks very interesting. I think the art is pretty good. It's nothing like so crazy, broken good, like uh, Jujutsu Kaisen or, you know, talk or uh, attacked up or to you know, any of that, but it does look good. And I really do like some of the, the, art styles in the back they're like different kind of backgrounds than i think you would usually get and i think it does give its own unique feel the music in this has also been especially interesting and i really like that it's also kind of localized to uh the area it's not like just some random old stuff right or like the the, the crazy typical anime songs it's like all right we got some heavy metal here and like i was like okay cool so we can see that in there but yeah, if you enjoyed watching, as always, guys, remember to support the original content creator because without them, we don't get more great episodes like that. And if you enjoyed watching with us here, you know, always uh, you feel free to like, comment, subscribe if you want to see more. Check us out on Twitch TV uh, at Twitch TV uh, slash 3D Reactions with an X. The link will be in the description below. We're trying to get those into all of our channel stuff and hopefully be done with that sometime this year. <laughs> As you guys know, I'm always slow to the uptake on certain things, but we're hoping to get all that and catch up on stuff, do more work, do new stuff, and have fun. And hopefully you guys have fun as well. It's going to be a great day today, so I'll see you guys next week for more reactions with the next uh, Sabakui Bisco. I, I still don't know, but we'll just say Rust Eater Bisco. And uh, I'm Max Grave. Hope you have a nice day.